yeah i think we can go to the next so i'm going to be talking about the statistics now of consumption so i got these details i mean this is all available online so if you want to if you're more interested you can go and google this i didn't want to really um you know um, spend too much time on it it's just a few basic statistics that i want to go over so approximately every second as you can see around four thousand dollars every second globally are spent on pornography and at any given time every second there are twenty nine thousand viewers online um, consuming porn in that same second there are about 372 people who are searching for porn keywords in google every 39 minutes a new porn clip or movie is being made and released in the us alone uh, the pornography industry has larger revenues than um, the digital industry, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, eBay, Yahoo, Apple, and Netflix combined, not alone, combined. The highest consumer in the world is China. Uh, some of the search terms you can see, porn was the most search term from South Africa, X was the most search term from Bolivia, and sex was the most search term from Pakistan and India. And I guess the reason for this is because if you try to search for porn or XXX from India and Pakistan, it might be that the firewalling system might block you because it's illegal in a way to consume porn. Sex is more biological. It's a term which is more um, natural, more organic. So I think that's why um, these are the terms which are used from these countries. Uh, but um, so these are, you can imagine the, uh, the pornography industry is 97 almost a hundred billion dollar industry every year. So it has more revenue than all those, um, all those digital websites combined. Next slide, please. And one more. So the age group of maximum consumption is between the age of 35 and 49. Um, as you can see in the US, so these are some uh, some details from the Ministry of Health uh, from the UK. So these are, I guess, more towards Europe, US, UK. I don't know if they really fit the Indian um, Indian um, statistics, but I'm guessing that this this could apply globally as well because it, these, these are huge numbers that they survey. So this is from the Ministry of Health. So this is like a huge survey and their sample size will be quite big. So I, I, I guess maybe a plus minus two, one, two percent, but I think we can apply these numbers basically to India as well. So you can see 72% of uh, visitors on porn websites are male, 28% uh, are female. However, 70% of women keep their porn habits or consumption habits secret from everyone else. Men don't really generally keep it a secret, at least from each other, even if they may keep it from their partners or spouses, but generally men tend to consume and talk about it. Uh, women are also more likely to act out on their fantasies than men. This was a very interesting one for me because it, uh, the research is showing that women are very severely influenced in, by porn in a way that if a man and a woman watch the same type of porn, let's say they watch, I don't know, uh, porn involving multiple, multiple partners, um, the man would just likely watch it and forget about it. But women are more likely to ponder over it and maybe even try to act out on it. So women are more active in that way that they would try to replicate those scenarios in their real life that they see on a pornographic movie. And only 10% of all the people addicted to pornography actually admit that they have an addiction to pornography. And next slide. <clears throat> and one more. So I just want to, that's why I have so many statistics because I want I, I myself, uh, till I didn't start investigating, didn't really think that these were the numbers, which was shocking for me actually, because I don't really check on these numbers every day or very frequently. So when I checked the last uh, published uh, statistics by the Ministry of Health UK, I was quite uh, surprised. So I thought I might just share these with you all. 13% um, 13, 13 of global mobile device users on adult, adult websites are from India. So you can imagine that if there are seven crore people globally with a mobile device accessing porn content, out of those seven crore, 90 lakh people um, are from India, almost a crore. Um, out of all the cities and towns, New Delhi tops in consumption of uh, pornographic content. And India has some unique terms that it tends to use, which is like Indian college girls, Indian bhabi, or Indian auntie. Um, however, there's no clarity between um, so this this was a study which I which I actually read from an Indian researcher from a, a doctor in India who said that um, 
he found no clear link between pornography use and anti-feminist attitudes in men. Um, and this was actually also replicated by many studies, which I read from from the Europe from European Union, from from UK as well, where they said that intolerant and educated societies, which are consuming porn, which have a high porn consumption, it didn't really correlate to detrimental attitudes towards women. Um, and we'll see why, because for example, in the when we come to the legal issues, we'll see. Um, Countries like Norway, for example, one of the highest producers uh, and cons consumers of porn as well, is one of the most sophisticated, egalitarian and safe societies for women in the world. And um, this started to actually uh, interest me because I was like, that means that if there is a link between porn consumption and a detrimental attitudes to, towards women in a society, then there is a confounding variable. And I think the confounding variable is the society itself, which is that it depends on how tolerant and educated the society is, what are their attitudes towards women in general. And in that society, if you, if you flood it with a pornographic content, you might see that detrimental attitude get worse. But pornography is not the reason for it. So I want to make that clear that pornography cannot be blamed for the detrimental attitudes in women. And repeatedly studies have found this because European societies are high consumers of porn and their attitudes towards women haven't really changed. Um, in fact, on the contrary, it's even gotten better over a period of years. So there is definitely some confounding variable if this question is there in Asian countries or in countries like India or Pakistan, why is pornography uh, consumption going higher? At the same time, you're seeing more crime against women, you're seeing more, more detrimental attitudes towards women. I guess the blame should not be completely pornography that could be a triggering factor but the 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 confounding variable the va variable here that has to be focused on is the society itself the general attitudes in the society itself and that has to be studied um in in com combination with how such a society would react to pornographic content towards women and then of course issues are exploited by politicians as well so there has been recent debate in the indian in the indian scenario about how porn is affecting uh, the indian mindset and whether it should be barred or not barred or you know is consumption allowed not allowed and of course you know you have to understand that politicians exploit this situation they try to blame pornographic content but actually it's the much more deeply rooted problems of the society and not the pornography that can be blamed over here for any sort of um, crimes against women. So it's 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 just that porn becomes the scapegoat. It becomes the 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 justifying factor for politicians, whereas actually it's not. So studies have shown that in other societies where there is enough education, there is enough tolerance, there is enough um, sympathy for each other, there isn't this uh, high consumption of porn and high crime against women. You don't just don't see that link. And I think we can go ahead to the next slide. 